Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to Gino's Gadgets. Guys, today has been a busy, busy day in the world of tech and uh, lots of big news coming out of lots of big household technology names. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into it today. Gino's Gadgets is full of crazy news. So first off, anybody that has a Samsung Galaxy S8 Big Speed Voice is live. So you may have seen an update uh, in the top corner of your device. If you did not, all you have to do is hit the Big Speed button on your device like so. Simply click that Big Speed button and you will see your Big Speed area come up and they will ask you to update your software and opt into the Bixby options, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I was a part of the beta test for that a uh, few few weeks back, and it's actually pretty cool. There's a, a lot of things that they do that I feel like kind of set them apart from like Siri and Google Now. So some pretty cool features. So go in there and check that out. Also, another Samsung news: um, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 event. So the Samsung Unpacked event that's always in the summer or fall months, uh, it is official. Samsung has pushed out their Unpacked event. The Unpacked event is gonna take place on August the 23rd, where they actually announce what we believe they're going to announce, the, the Galaxy Note 8. Um, and so this is gonna be a big, big release for Samsung. Uh, the Note devices always have like huge, huge following. Um, and there's a lot of anticipation for this device. I mean, they're talking about big time specs and big speed talking as we speak. Anyway, so yeah, we're talking about big time specs on this device, huge 6.3 inch um, Infinity AMOLED dis display that's gonna be awesome. So uh, the Galaxy S8 Plus has a 6.2 inch display so it's even going to be bigger than this so big beautiful um amoled display from samsung they always make some of the best displays out there so really looking forward to that event on august the 23rd uh, so stay tuned uh the coverage leading up to that and coverage that day i'll be covering some things uh, having to do with that even if i can't actually make the the actual unpacked event i will definitely be watching that coverage big time and on to the next one uh, next up we're going to be talking about apple another big tech company and it's responsible for a ton of gadgets that you guys have in your hands uh, Apple's legal battle with Qualcomm is really, really heating up. Uh, 9 to 5 Mac is actually reporting um, that other OEMs are actually getting in on the action. Um, companies like Samsung, Google, and other big players uh, are actually speaking up on behalf of Apple, saying that Qualcomm has been kind of, you know, maybe doing some, some unfair things and really, really trying to control the the chip manufacturing business too much and create kind of a monopoly there. So uh, Apple's getting love and support from, <laughs> you know, their rivals, <clears throat> you know, people like LG and, and Samsung and Google are actually stepping up um, and, and, and jumping in on the action. So it, it's really heating up. So uh, Apple, they've got a busy, busy uh, second half of the year ahead of them. Also, you know, with the upcoming iPhone 8 or, or what, a lot of people are calling now potentially uh, the iPhone Pro. Uh, I know they're working on some new technology and they need a, a, a really big successful release for that. So Apple's, Apple's definitely got a big second half of the year of 2017 coming up. Next up in Gino's Gadgets news is a company that has been in the news a good bit lately uh, and for some good reasons. T-Mobile has uh, released their second quarter numbers for 2017 and they're actually quite impressive. Uh, they added 1.3 million subscribers um, and turned in $10.2 billion in revenue. Uh, this is the first of the four major carriers. So the four major carriers being AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. 
T-Mobile was actually the first of those four to give their Q2 results. So it will be interesting to see what Ver the likes of Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint said because I mean according to John Ledger who you gotta love that guy he's probably the most outspoken CEO out there he's so not politically correct uh, anyway John Ledger is saying that these 1.3 million ads are mostly coming from the competition they're coming from Sprint they're coming from AT&T um, and according to him, you know, AT&T is bleeding customers. So it'll be really interesting to see uh, the Q2 results from these other carriers. And last, guys, but not least, uh, Best Buy is having a big Black Friday in July sale. So they call it Black Friday in July. And uh, it starts on, of course, tomorrow, Friday, um, July 21st. And if you are a Best Buy Elite, sorry, My Best Buy Elite or My Best Buy uh, Premier member, you can actually go in there tonight um, and take advantage of some of the deals before Friday even starts. So go and check that out, guys, if you're a My Best Buy member. I mean, there are big discounts off of televisions from LG, Samsung, Sony, uh, HP laptops, MacBooks were like $300 off. So really big discounts. Uh, so go to bestbuy.com and check that out, guys. Well, next time, guys, we're going to have not only a rant. Um, I'm going to go into a big rant about the tech industry and some big names out in tech and what they're doing. But also wanted to try to get some uh, likes and subscriptions. Also, some comments below of some things you guys want to hear me talk about on Geno's Gadgets. So we'll see you guys next time in the next video. And until then, enjoy your gadgets.